Brother Sister the Celestial Energy, Brother Wisdom, what's going on guys? Um working on my project here, so I got sawdust all over me. I'll let you guys know when I'm just about done. Um just want to briefly talk about the centripetal force of your soul and your spirit. And you know, just like the centripetal force of the force of the planet, just like the centripetal force of our universe, the centripetal force of our galaxy that we talked about. And you remember we talked about centripetal force. Okay, let's let's just let's just all put it all together. Perpetual motion means that it's constantly moving without being plugged into anything. So yeah, our planet is a sphere. All planets are spheres. I don't care what you say. There's this guy named Di- called Divergent, and he's in one area, and he sends a balloon up in the air. But this huge colossal planet. You're going to try to say that the planet is flat just because you're seeing a balloon up in the air with a camera. All right. That's that's these white folk. All right. Remember that. That's them. They're the ones who introduced this flat earth shit so that brothers and sisters would be deceived. All right. All right. We're going to briefly talk about um, the centripetal force of your soul. And your spirit. All right. Just like our planet, and our planet begins to spin faster. Why is the planet begins to spin faster? Because our planet begins is is gaining is going into different levels of knowledge and intelligence within itself. So what's happening is creating new frequencies. All right. Remember, our planet is perfectly imperfect. The cosmos is perfectly imperfect. The universe is perfectly imperfect. We are perfectly imperfect. We must be imperfect. Everything must be imperfect because if it's for it, for it to be perfect, it means we cannot evolve. So everything has to be imperfect in order for us to evolve. That means the knowledge is infinite. So right now, the, the level of intelligence that our planet has, many of us have not even me not even the oldest brother, the oldest sister, not even the ascended masters have the level of intelligence that our planet has because the planet was here long before they came. All right. So you got to understand, you know, the ancient of the ancients of the ancients, you know, our planet is old. So, um, our planet gains new intelligence and from that new intelligence it creates new frequencies those frequencies are nothing but atomic forces of energy you know atoms and neutrons and protons and 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 electrons and you know the 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 the, the information the intelligence that's coming to our planet that our planet um gets from within herself we feel it because what happens she's beginning to get hotter because her intelligence has risen all right same thing as our galaxy. Remember, we talked about our galaxy, how our galaxy is now, you know, connecting to other galaxies. All right, centripetal force. They're cha- they're cha- they're uh, uh, trading information, so the galaxy is getting hotter. All right, and we ain't even seen the planet yet because when that planetary convergence begins, it's gonna be ew, that unification. All right. Um, then we saw the universes, how the universes, and now they're parallel to each other. They're communicating with each other. The universes have gotten even hotter. All right. And that's that's what happens when you increase frequencies, you get hotter. That means your intelligence, your level of intelligence ex- has exceeded what you already thought. So being our universe is the infant, the, the, the infinitesimal beings, these colossal uh, uh, organisms call uh, uh, universes you know you have to understand that you know their level of intelligence is like far greater than the galaxies and the planets all together alright you gotta remember the universe is make up, makes up the cosmos so when you're dealing with our genetic makeup and who we are as original beings our duty is to com- continuously evolve just like our planet just like our galaxy just like the star system just like the universes we're supposed to continuously um evolve which you know we talked about this you know why our 
uh, these inorganic beings, these so-called white folk, you know, who call themselves ruling the world or whatever, you know, they put this distractions in our face to make us think that we um, that we're not going anywhere because they need us to be in that state of mind because they know that we are the source of the planet. All right. So we're supposed to evolve. I remember um, one thing I was watching that Sonic 2 uh, yesterday with my daughter, my son. And at the end, Knuckles said, Knuckles said that there were two nations who were assigned to guard the gym. And you got to understand this gym. All right. This beautiful gem, this beautiful emerald, this bleed, this 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 green emerald. Because you know some emeralds are blue, some emeralds are green, some emeralds are blue green. And what is our planet? Blue green. So two nations, us here, the Atlanteans, and those over there, the Sumerians. So those who they call Africans and those who they call African Americans, we're the two nations who were put here to protect this gem, which is our planet. G-E-M, gem, with its, which is our planet. We are here to protect this planet and we have failed because we have allowed it, an enemy to come in, a virus to come in and to cause us to become stagnant. This is why he's always passing out money. This is always, you know, why he, they, they introduced the calendar. They introduced time to make you think that nothing goes anywhere, that everything remains the same. The centripetal force of our soul and spirit wants to rise. All right. So you get brothers and sisters who call themselves, you know, we talked about this before wanted to get into management and wanted to get in this business and wanted to get in that business because this is what they've been trained by society to do is link into businesses and not link into self. Society has taught us to go outside of ourselves because society needs us to grab on to something that is not real. All right. Money is not real. It's a frequency, but it's not a real frequency. All right. Jesus and God and Allah, not real. Jehovah, Yahushua, Yahweh, they're, they're only a, a, an, an idea, but it is not something that you're supposed to take and run with it. It's, only, it's an idea. It's, that's all it is. It's, it's an idea. It's something that someone thought of, but the society has literally pushed that on us. <laughs> so in order for us to get back where we left off, we must get back to where we began. You know, long ago when I first started um, this, this, this channel here, I used to always say, if you don't know where you came from, then you won't know where you're going. So therefore, you're lost in the midst of whatever society created. I'll say it again, because I used to say it all the time. If you don't know where you come from, you won't know where you're going. Therefore, you're lost in the midst of everything that society has created. One more time. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Mother said one more time. If you don't know where you come from, then you won't know where you're going. Therefore, you're lost in the midst of everything that society has created. All right. So the whole key point, brothers and sisters, is, that, is to know that we come from science, the original sciences, the original physicists, with original architectures, with original seamstress, with original musicians. All right. We're the original mathematicians. We're the original um, uh, uh, space travelers. All right. We're original astronomers, astronom astronomers with original astrologers, with original chemists. I mean, we can go on and on and on. So this is what we must return to. Now, when you return back to this state of being. All right. 
And now you got this idea in your head. Hmm. Well, if I take this and I put it with this, then something's going to happen. So what happens is now you're, you know, we talked about that before. And, and I, this is something that uh, a brother of Phil Valentine talked about. Oh. <laughs> this is something that brother Phil Valentine talked about. And he was talking about when you create a new thought, you create a new atom. And what is those, what do these atoms do? These atoms produce frequencies. All right. These atoms are um, electrical charges that are within you that are designed to help you to create and to open gateways and to, I mean, the, the atoms are just wonderful, help you to think, you know. So what happened is now you have that new thought. You have created a new atom. That atom has created a new frequency. Now your frequencies are beginning to change because now you created a new frequency, just like we talked about our planet, which means that your soul and your spirit, all right, which are spinning energies within you, all right? spinning energies and they're spinning both of them are spinning counterclockwise <laughs> spinning energies hold on here okay I'm back <laughs> I had sawdust all in my nose and and particles of <laughs> oh, uh, wood in my mouth I was, so I had to go and spit that shit out alright <laughs> okay so I was saying um, yeah your soul and your spirit but they're both uh, spinning um, counterclockwise. This is more sawdust. <laughs> uh, your soul and your spirit are uh, spinning counterclockwise. All right. And now that you have created a new thought, that atom within you is now creating a new frequency. Now, what's happening here is now you have created a new frequency. Now, you're talking about the centripetal force of your soul because what's happened here, all right, your that frequency that you sent out because now you you got that new frequency and now you're like, okay, what can I do with this? Because I need to put this and I need to make this work this way here or, or um, what formula should I do? I think I should do this formula right here. And then you'll say, Mother Universe, I need help, Mother. I need some help, Mother. Show Show me the way. And when you say that, Mother Universe literally opens up all gateways to all the brothers and sisters within other galaxies and other universes and other planets who are extremely intelligent and knowledgeable in different levels of physics and mathematics and chemistry. And, you know, so once you do that, you're sending that frequency, that radio signal, because you know, gotta, we got to remember, we have radio signals within us. That frequency is now going out into the macroverse. But you, where does the frequency go first before it goes to the macroverse? It goes into the microverse. You got to remember, what's up there is within here. So you go, you say, Mother Universe, I need some help. So you're sitting and you're sitting in your med state of meditation because you're trying to gain this energy and this, this information, this intelligence. And then there's some brother you may hear or you may hear the voice of a sister. Put two drops of this right here and one drop of that there and stir it up this way here. And, and then they'll give you the instructions and you'll be like, okay, thank you, Mother. Thank you. Thank you. Because Mother Universe then opened up the gateway. So what happened is within within you, that centripetal force within you began to go throughout the cosmos. So you got the microverse right here, the microcosmos right here. So that microcosmos that you went into right here linked into that my, to the macrocosmos, that macroverse up there. OK, and therefore. Now you're trading frequencies just like the planets and just like the galaxies. Now you're communicating with some super intelligent brother or super intelligent sister in another universe, in another galaxy. Millions and millions of light years away. But you got to remember, your thoughts travel 477 trillion miles per second. 
So millions of light years away, but that thought, that one second, 477 trillion miles, that one second reached that brother or reached that sister. And they pass on the information to you because they're in tune. This is what it means to be in tuned because now your frequencies are flowing. So now that you're doing this, you go back into your state of meditation and guess what? Other brothers and sisters are now chiming in and you're chiming in to them and they're giving you knowledge and, and you're thanking them and you're giving the knowledge that you have and you're all communicating with each other. This is what this is the centripetal force within you when you are linking into the ultimate macroverse through the microverse that is within you why do you think mankind wants to do genetic editing genetic edit editing doesn't begin with trying to inject something into you genetic editing begins with the mind because if they can get your mind that's where genetic editing begins because once you believe what they say and you follow what they say you have now reconstructed the cellular structure of your uh, 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 deoxyetheric deoxyetheric alkaline and you have now made yourself acidic instead of alkaline because now you have lowered yourself from a primordial deity to a human all right so this is all about the centripetal force within your soul and spirit because your soul and spirit, this is why we go into meditation. We go into meditation to cause our spirit, our soul, and our body to fuse as one organism. All before then, before you went into meditation, it's like they were, they were separate. So you got the, your body, your spirit, and your soul fusing together as one organism so that everything can work together. So now that when you talk about that centripetal force, you're talking about that energy that's flowing, your spirit and your soul and your body, your, all that energy flowing at the same time, because now you have become one. You are one frequency with yourself. You are now a universe, a universe. Universe means one frequency. You are now a universe within yourself instead of being thrown here and thrown there and thrown here and thrown there. All right. So you have to understand, brothers and sisters, that it's important that you seek for higher levels of intelligence. And this works when you are working on something. When you're working on something. All right. And you're actively doing something because you're trying to figure out how can I make this work and how can I make this work and how can I make you have to go within yourself. That's a microverse within yourself. That huge, vast, infinite cosmos is all compacted right in here. All of it is compacted right inside of here. And you have access to every level of intelligence that is ever known. You have access to it. You shouldn't have to go to a book. You shouldn't have to Google anything. You should You should be able to go deep within you. Tarjata Omara Tasha Kutolata Yaro Shotil Wuzakas Tarata Lida Lopada. You gotta be able to go within yourself and gain this powerful energy, brothers and sisters. It's all for you, it's all through you. Hold on here. Okay, I'm going to close this out because my daughter reminded me we were supposed to be cooking at 8 o'clock. So, um, yeah, all this is within you. So, the centripetal force of your spirit and your soul is important, brothers and sisters. Because you're linking into some powerful forces. Therefore, here comes your aura. Therefore, you linking now what was happening here is now 
you're going throughout the cosmos and you're gaining this cosmic knowledge and this cosmic intelligence and you're gaining that cosmic intelligence and you're pulling in that intelligence and you're learning a new language over here and you're learning a new type of way of doing things over here and you're, you're gaining so this is what brings your superpowers intelligence but it all starts with science physics mathematics chemistry Hmm? Carpentry, brick laying, <laughs> even welding. All right. Also, you get into melting of different metals. That's part of chemistry. So all the skills trade. This is you know these these inorganic beings created careers and took away the skills and gave us what rapping, money and dope, so that we would not evolve don't fall for the hype brothers and sisters it's time that we um, get ourselves on a new level of energy and power I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys gained much much knowledge and intelligence from this I hope you guys fly higher than you can ever be alright I hope you guys can be able to link into the highest of the highest of the energies ever known so that you can be that Superman or that Wonder Woman, that Aquaman, that Hulk. What brings forth your superpowers? The things that gave us power from the beginning. Science, physics, mathematics. The different levels of engineering. All right? All the all the skills. Chemistry, all, the, all these, these is, this is where we come from, brothers and sisters. So we got to go back to where we come from in order for us to go forward. And this is the basics. But once you go to the basics and you link in, link in, you link in, you have access to every part of the cosmos that mankind can't touch. And this is what he's jealous of. He invaded, causes a fall. But now he's scared because we're returning back into this life where we once lived. And he doesn't want to be ex out of existence. But guess what? It's not his decision to make. He can spray the sky, go on to all the things he want to do. Just like nature's becoming more higher in, in energy because her intelligence is growing. You do the same thing. And this is where you get your powers from. All right. I'll catch you guys a little later. I got nothing to say anyway. <laughs> um, you know the deal, brothers and sisters. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos run with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, chaos brings change, not peace. Chaos is going within yourself. Linking into that microverse that links into that macroverse that brings down all that intelligence to you. She, she might just have some a brother or sister on um who are uh, inboxing somebody and they inbox you by mistake and they're trading information with another brother and sister and they give you the information that you need. You never know how it happens. It's not about getting money. It's about getting intelligence. Fuck money. It's about getting intelligence because intelligence will take you to places that money won't take you. <laughs> money is only limited. It's a two-dimensional thing. So if one of somebody says they're a millionaire, a billionaire, you say, I feel sorry for you. Because they only limited to what money can get. But money cannot, never, can never get that cosmic intelligence that you belong to. All right? I'll catch you guys later. Much power to you all.